I'm joined today by Lori Constantine. She's the Client Engagement Manager working on the Bruce Power Project for the last two years. Welcome, Lori. Thanks for having me. Uh, so I started working with Bruce Power about two years ago. Uh, at that point, the project had started, but it was still uh, in its early stages. Uh, they were really at the point of taking a look at what they had, what, you know, what data they had to work with, and really where they wanted to go, what they wanted to build on, what they wanted to focus on, and how Shiny Docs could help support them on that journey. So the timing couldn't be better for Bruce in that they were looking to move to Maximo from a more proprietary system. They were looking to streamline their operations. They were making, looking to have a place where employees would have a more ergonomic, digital, fast experience in, in a modern context. Could you talk about how our data understanding with respect to documents, their previous drawings and supply chain information has helped them on that journey? What we were able to do with Bruce Power is provide them uh, concrete information that enabled them to act uh, in a meaningful uh, in a meaningful way. Other organizations weren't really able to uh, step up to help them uncover their data. Their manual processes were just, uh, just not able to keep pace with uh, the speed in which work needed to be completed, how the work was being completed. Uh, Bruce is at the cusp of a digital transformation. They're growing as an organization and starting to see how technology can help support them uh, in the future. I find something unique about Bruce Power, the people, the culture, yep. uh, the, um, the employees, the consultants that they have are invested personally in yep. this. And I find them to be, in a sense, more aggressive and easier to work with than a lot of other custom customers. Could you talk about how that's been an advantage in this digital transformation? For sure, and that has been one of Bruce Power's biggest advantages. Um, their employees approach their work with a sense of openness and curiosity that, that just doesn't always exist in all large organizations. Um, they've leaned into this process, and it hasn't always been easy. Um, and sometimes we are planning as we go along and we have to change and we have to adapt. And Bruce Power is really good at going along that journey um, and understanding that sometimes it is a journey because when we started this project, we didn't have the same goals that we have now. But as we explored and we leaned in, uh, we saw just how powerful and just how much work we could accomplish together. Their openness and curiosity has been one of the building blocks for the success of this project. I really like that approach because quite often when people engage with us, mm -hmm. they'll say, I want to delete half of my data or mm -hmm. I want to move it all into some other system. Yeah. And then when you start peeling back and asking, well, what is it that you have and how are people using it? Mm -hmm. Then there's a head scratch sometimes going, well, we don't know that yet, but we'll find out as we're moving it. Yeah. Uh, and I think it sets organizations perhaps up for failure or delay mm -hmm. because they're making the decision about what to do with the data prior to actually discovering what they have, as you've suggested. Yeah, and like, I don't want to minimize this work. This is not easy work. This is not flippin'. This is not something you can just press delete on. Uh, it takes time to, to really dig in and understand what you have. And oftentimes companies are surprised. They don't realize uh, uh, employees or just their data is being used in a certain way. It's being stored in a certain way. Uh, and that discovery uh, is, is really paramount to making informed business decisions uh, about how you want to move forward and how you want to use this data. So a lot of organizations out there, uh, everybody is used to using Google on the public web. Everybody's yep. used to using Facebook and being able to connect and find different assets or piece of information. But within their organization, if you want to find the finance information, you go to the finance system. If you go to the asset information that's in the asset system. If you want the records, you gotta go to the record system. Google has fixed that on the public web. Most organizations do not have that, mm -hmm. that home page, the search across all of these systems that bring it together in that natural way that is permissioned and secured. Bruce Power has that now with Bruce Discovery. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a little bit about the value that's brought in what part of their digital transformation did that drive? Yeah, and I mean, I just, I first want to mention, we didn't go into Bruce Power with the idea of developing discovery search. Uh, it was really through peeling back the layers, the work that we did with them, digging into their data and, and starting to uncover just 
what was lacking was those connections. You're exactly right. Um, you know, the, the information or the resources that they use completely function as intended. Uh, but as an employee, I don't work in a vacuum. I don't do one thing. Uh, I do different things and I touch on different systems. And really, um, Discovery Search came about with, with that idea. How do we make looking for the information that you need easier? How do we put it at your fingertips? How do we give you something that is familiar, easy, uh, that doesn't require training, uh, and that makes those connections for you so that you, you don't even think about it. You just go to your you know Bruce Power homepage and you search for what you're looking for and it's right there within seconds at your fingertips. I like that because it, it really tells the story that the journey to get a good understanding of your business doesn't start with, I want to search everything. Right. It starts with, how do I enrich the information? How do I connect the information? And once it's enriched, connect, findable, now you can search it. And I think that's what Google has done with the public web. It's certainly what Bruce did with their private data across these multiple powerful systems they were using. So it's not even just knowing, it's not even just connecting your data, it's knowing how to connect the data, where those gaps are, how you can improve them, and what will be meaningful for your employees. Uh, and again, that work is not possible unless you know what you have and you know how to find it and you know how it's important and you're able to make a judgment call about what's important. Uh, and, and again, none of that would have been would have been possible without the foundation work. So really, uh, the time that we spent uh, with Bruce Power uh, discovering their data, uncovering their rot, uh, uh, and really digging in paved the way for discovery search. Uh, it highlighted the need that maybe we wouldn't have seen without it. And really it was a partnership. We, the idea really came, it was a synergy of both of our ideas of both of our organizations uh, identifying a gap and deciding how to move forward. It was a decision that we made uh, as a collective. The concept of continuous improvement uh, is ingrained at Bruce Power. They are focused on outcomes. They are always moving forward. Uh, but at the core, they want actions. They, they want to move forward. They want to uh, uh, focus on what is actionable, what I can do right now. Uh, and what I can't do right now, uh, you know, that will be a focus for later down the road. But it's that mindset of always growing, always looking forward, and really uh, uh, focusing on what is actionable uh, has made them a success. I like that. I think it's, it's you, th you think of parallels where you're trying to discover something, like it's the ultimate might be going to the moon, mm -hmm. is it was not Apollo 1 or Apollo 2 or Apollo 3 that right. went to the moon, is that you, they weren't failures that they didn't go to the moon. It was never their intention. They wanted to learn how to do it, mm -hmm. how to get there. And eventually they did. And without those learnings, how can you find out what you're capable of doing? I think really something that is often missing uh, in data understanding is that people aspect. Uh, you can talk about AI, machine learning. Those things are, it's, it's all great. But at the end of the day, you can't you lose focus that you're, you're working with people. Uh, and people uh, uh, need to come along with you, need to grow with you, and, and need to see the vision. Um, uh, and it has to be concrete, has to be actionable. Uh, and I think that is really one of the, the, the core strengths of this project is that uh, people are at the center of it and how we can help people improve their job, how we can make things easier for them, uh, and how they can really understand the value and the importance uh, of the work that we're doing.